How's it going everybody? I hope you're having an awesome day. Today we're going to be going over some tips and tricks on what to upgrade and in what order. But first we'll take a look at the ranks. So now I think number 60, global, and number 13 in the United States. Going to be having some attacks running in the background. As we discuss what to upgrade if you are not fully maxed out as a Builder Hall 10. So if you're on your way up to Builder Hall 10, if you are a Builder Hall 10, what should you upgrade? What should you prioritize? I'm going to tell you. First off, most importantly, is offense. So, my mind has always been that you need to stay your current Town Hall or Builder Hall level until your primary army composition that you like to use is fully maxed out. So, I would definitely recommend using all baby dragons on your way up to Builder Hall 10. Uh, you can use all baby dragons very reliably uh, up to around like 5,000, 5,500 trophies uh, once you get all the camp space available. And hopefully you are upgrading your base as well, so you're able to defend a little bit as well. So, for me personally, I would upgrade the baby dragons and the cannon carts. Those are my two favorites, so I would wait until those were maxed out for my builder home level. And then I would try to also upgrade my you know, battle chopper if I have it unlocked yet, or I'd try to upgrade the battle machine as well. Um, if I felt like some attacks were super, super close, and then if I just had that like next level tier of battle machine, then I probably would try to prioritize upgrading the battle machine as well. So once those are all achieved, then I would say upgrade your builder hall to the next level, upgrade the lab, you know, upgrade all of the camp space, get the new camps, upgrade the, uh, was it the healing hut? That's another important one. Um, then yeah, just save up the elixir, upgrade the baby dragons, the cannon carts, your battle machine a little bit, and then you're, you're free to keep upgrading up to Builder Hall 10, in my opinion. I mean, you might as well be Builder Hall 10, have all the level 1 defenses unlocked, because you'll get all of the camp space unlocked, so you may not be able to push up very much in the beginning until you upgrade your base, but you'll have enough attacking power as a maxed out Builder Hall 10 would. So once those offensive goals are achieved, then I would say for prioritizing defense, it's very good to prioritize the unique defenses. So in theory, the ones that can hit both, both ground and air, so top of the list is the uh, Mega Tesla and the Roaster. Those ones are the big, unique defenses that can hit both ground and air. Uh, of course, if you're also Build Hall 10, you get the Expo. So I'd also recommend upgrading the Expo quite a bit. Uh, the Expo does take a long time to upgrade and is a very powerful defense. Um, so it sort of depends on your mindset. Um, if I was just getting to uh, Builder Hall 10, I would probably just max out the Expo because I'm already used to not having it, so just permanently upgrading it, that would be one idea to get it maxed out as soon as possible. Um, the idea behind maxing out the Roaster, the Mega Tesla, the Expo um, for both ground and air attacks is that it takes more hits to take them out. So sometimes they'll survive with a little bit of hit points and then they'll deal you know, a little bit extra damage and that a lot of times is the difference between a success and a fail on the base. So uh, other than those for both ground and air, uh, I would then also max out the specifically the air bombs to counter the baby dragons. And then I'd also max out the giant cannon um, and then I would get the Lava Launcher and the Multi Mortar to a decent level. Maybe not max, but maybe like level 7, 8, or 9. Uh, just so they deal some damage. Because uh, a lot of times with the Lava Launcher and the Multi Mortar, the ground troops, they'll move out of that damage anyways if they're cruising through the base. So not that big of a deal if you don't upgrade them as quickly as possible. Um, that being said, I would also spend some time upgrading the Archer Towers to a decent level if you're keeping them on the long range high mode. Uh, Archer Towers do pretty good consistent damage, um, but I would definitely prioritize the Arch Towers and the Teslas 
over the cannons and the double cannons. Uh, from what I've seen on my other account and what I experienced while pushing earlier at Builder Hall 10 is that uh, a lot of people like to use ground attacks, the P.E.K.K.A. Smash strategy, um, at lower levels because the cannons and the double cannons are not that well upgraded. But if you have a good base layout, you can sort of get away with having weaker level cannons and double cannons, and it may even entice people to use a ground strategy to try and take you out. And then they'll be surprised when they don't clear you out because you have a good base layout. So, of course, P.E.K.K.A.s are super strong, so, um, you know, if you are constantly getting destroyed by one strategy, if it's like a Baby Dragon spam or a P.E.K.K.A. spam, then, you know, probably try to upgrade the cannons or the firecrackers to counter. <coughs> Excuse me. So, the other big things to upgrade are, surprisingly, the auto outpost to get those zappies, because those zappies can do a lot of damage. Especially if they take out the auto outpost at the, you know, middle of the attack or the beginning of the attack. Uh, those zappies can run around and do a lot of damage. Um, things that I would hold off on until the very, very end are the traps and the like non-defensive trash buildings. So like the the collectors, the storages. Um, of course, if you need more storage, like you have to upgrade the storages. But yeah, I would I would hold off on those until the very end. Um, for upgrading the hero, I would try to avoid putting a hero down. Um, once you get the battle chopper, you can sort of get away with not using the battle machine, because it's not that helpful for an air attack. Um, or you can also try to look at not using the heroes at all, or upgrade both of them, take a week off, come back, and then upgrade some more stuff in the meantime, because those heroes are very, very powerful, and they're a crucial part of the builder base attacks. So, that is pretty much what I would upgrade. Uh, if you're sticking around, pretty much the summary is I would upgrade Baby Dragon's cannon carts offensively up until I'm a, I get to Builder Hall 10 and max them out. Uh, then I would focus on upgrading the Healing Hut and the Expo. And then I'd focus on the Roaster and the Mega Tesla. And then I would get the Giant Cannon, Multi Mortar, to a decent level, um, as well as the Lava Launcher. Um, if you're getting crushed by ground attacks, then the Giant Cannon is a good one to upgrade, as well as the Double Cannons. Um, otherwise, I'd prioritize the Arch Towers and the Teslas. And then, at that point, you sort of get to pick and choose getting hit by like ground or air attacks 90% like of the time depending on your base layout then I would upgrade the defenses that are targeting those troops so that's pretty much the gist of it we'll watch the end of this attack we'll speed things up we'll see here you know I love to use the baby dragons and the cannon carts and even still at this point in the builder base there are still top players that are upgrading defenses, which is kind of crazy. Um, one of the big things that can really speed up upgrading is if you are using the uh, raid weekend attacks every week. As your clan progresses higher and higher, you'll get more and more uh, emblems. And those you can use, you can buy the, um, the Builder Star potions to refresh the daily bonus. As well as you can buy three of the clock tower potions. And I think each potion takes off like five hours of upgrade time. So it's not the greatest, but it is something. Um, and then of course, um, always max out the free side of the gold pass. That will really help speed things up. And then if you are looking to spend a little bit of money, uh, maybe just the monthly gold pass fee if that doesn't break the bank, and that is a tremendous way to speed things up. And if you're able to do that for even just two or three months, if you get the gold pass, you can get a lot of stuff upgraded. So, hope this video is helpful. Hopefully it kind of showcases what I upgrade, sort of my mindset. I know there were some people in the comments that were wondering what they should do, what I would recommend. So, 
there you guys go. If you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Helps me out a bunch. There are a couple more videos on the screen. Until next time, take care.